Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Now this video is a part of the 50 Rush project playlist series. So in case you don't know about that, go to my channel playlist and click on 50 Rush project playlist series and this is a part of that. Now we've already built two projects with Substrate. We've built one project with Solana where we used the, uh, the sample project that Anchor gives you by default to run it. And today we want to just take that learning a little forward. What we want to do is you want to init the Anchor project, right? The same way. Uh, by the way, if you don't have Anchor, Solana, Yarn, Node.js installed, please do that with the previous video for Solana in the, the 50 Dash Projects daily series. So I took you through installation of all of those things. You need to have all of those things to work with today's video. So uh, we'll anchor in it a sample pro project, but we'll delete the code and then we'll write all of uh, you know, some things on our own. So what I want you to get used to is, is uh, working with the Solana project, but uh, in a way that you can delete things and then you can you know, write your own code, write your own custom code. And not only that, but we'll, uh, so we'll be writing our uh, Rust code. And not only that, we'll also be writing our uh, a sample uh, JavaScript uh, test file also, a custom JavaScript test file also. So that's that, all right. So what we'll do is we'll get started. So I am in my uh, folder where I usually keep my Solana projects and I will say anchor in it. Um, and I'll call it this test program YT because I've already built test program so i'm just saying test program id now uh, just a uh, quick note <coughs> sorry i'm eating i'm eating something so <coughs> just a quick note i already have this project on my github so i'm akhil sharma 90 on github make sure you follow me make sure you also star all the repositories that you build along with me so that i know that you guys are following along <laughs> right uh, so <coughs> This program, a very basic custom Solana program using Anchor and a custom test script. This is the one that we're building right now. And we'll also be building this Solana custom project, this, but this is a slightly bigger project. So we'll also be building this, but I have a feeling like what I think uh, we should do is we should probably create a separate playlist for advanced substrate projects because we've already built two simple projects, but I want to do like more advanced ones, but I think it should exist in its own playlist. And uh, and we've done like one project with Solana, we're doing this one with Solana again. But from starting from here, the Solana projects will get a little more complex. And I think that requires or deserves another playlist of its own. That people who don't really want to learn Solana and just want to learn Rust, they can, you know, uh, go ahead and do that. They can just learn Rust. But for, for even for the people who don't want to learn Solana, I, I feel this video is important because you get uh, a blockchain project, you get to make changes in it. And you just get, it's a big step, right? You get to learn so much. All right, so anchor in it, test program YT and minus minus JavaScript. I'm using JavaScript. Uh, if you don't pass anything here, it'll give you a TypeScript, TypeScript project by default, but I want to use JavaScript. So I'll, I'll press enter. So sometimes it takes time. Yeah, so make sure you just press enter a couple of times if it doesn't work. So if it's taking time to start up. Right. So it's done. So it's initialized program, test program writing. So I'll cd into it, just program writing, cd into it. And I will open this up in my code editor. I'm using VS code, you could be using anything else, no problem. Right. What I want you to do is go to librs, src.librs. Don't change the name of this file, okay? Uh, and and I think I told you in the previous video that in the programs, right, programs, there'll be a folder created called test program YT, the name of the project that you specified to anchor, it'll, it'll do that for you. And it'll also be smart enough to change the name of the test file, test program yt.js for you. So anchor does all of this for you. Now, uh, don't change the name of this file libro.rs because uh, I will teach you how to do that in, in a later project. Right, right now, just keep it lib.rs, and, and for the next few projects, just keep it lib.rs. Don't you don't want complexity, okay? But uh, remove everything here, right? from here to here, okay? And if you want, you can also remove this, okay? Uh, why am I telling you to remove all this? Is because even though we'll be writing some code which will be very similar to what was already there with Anchor, we have removed that code. Uh, but but we want it, we want to write all of this on our own, right? Uh, that will get us used to the uh, Syntax and that'll make us a better developer because we'll get some muscle memory and all of that stuff, right? So You know get everything from anchor first 
that's the main primary goal right now get everything from anchor and then this is the project id that had, uh, that anchor created for you right and you'll see that it looks the same i mean the id looks the same every single time then you want to start off your program this is a macro for the program okay and you'll say pubmod test program and use super and this is where you define your function right so the function in my case will be called test function now the function that you get with anchor by default is called initialize so better than that we're writing our own functions that's this is the part where things are changing right so we're saying test function and we will say context will be context right and test function with d and fr capital because i'll have a function here somewhere uh, where i'll say derive counts and i'll have a struct called test Now here your test function is going to return result. So you will say result, and we've already seen this right in one of in the, in the previous videos why we use result and all of those things it's like basic Rust. And this is your function. So we're not doing anything in the function. We're just saying okay, that's it. So small steps first, right? Not really big steps. So we just want to do this, right? And we'll we'll build really big Solana projects. So in case you're an experienced developer, you you're saying no, you know this project is too small. I want to build bigger Solana projects. Well, you will get to do that on this channel. We build like really complex Solana projects. Okay, but right now your first priority is to make sure your Yarn, Node.js, Anchor, Solana, all of them are working in perfect harmony. You're able to make these changes, and you're able to run this program, and still nothing should fail. Okay, that's your main priority. So if you can make these small changes first, you can always make big changes and write big programs later on. So baby steps first. Okay. So we'll go to test program ID and, and mind you, this might fail, right? When you write your own uh, test file, it might fail. So that's what, that's your, that's the thing that you should be focusing more on getting this, everything to work. So we're writing our own test files. So we'll say uh, anchor is equal to choir project serum slash anchor. Okay. Constant main is equal to async so that log say starting test. I know this is, I know this what I'm writing is getting hidden by this window here, so don't worry. I'll uh, take some time now. Make sure you got this. Okay. And here we'll say anchor dot set provider. So for that we'll say anchor, which we already have from the project serum anchor, which is the package dot anchor provider dot env. Now let's get our program here. So our program is in our anchor workspace dot test program. So make sure you keep the uh, T here capital. So in my test program, when you go here, test program, everything is small, right? Everything is small. The T is small and P is also not capital, small. Uh, and I want to do the same here, uh, but make sure you make this T capital. That's how Anchor is going to access your uh, files and functions and all of that. That's how it's meant to do that. So we'll say await program dot RPC dot test function. Okay. So this test function here. Remember the test function here. Make sure this T is small out here in your file. Okay, RPC dot test function. And here we will say console dot log and your transaction signature. So I'll wait for you guys to type this out. The spelling is wrong. Comma tx okay you'll get the transaction signature once you call this test function and you'll show that in your console now finally we'll run our main so it's a constant run main async okay. try oh, wait 
main process dot exit catch error console sorry console dot error you want to print out the error and process dot exit so these are status codes right so you'll uh, you'll exit with one or zero depending on the situation and you'll say run main okay all right so you're setting your provider setting your program setting a transaction and, and printing out your transaction value and then you're running this program all right so which is basically main in case you haven't figured it out this is your main function which needs to run and we'll call it from here run main we'll run this and then we have our try and catch block which is something you have to do with uh, javascript in case uh, you're not very familiar with javascript you have to run a code in try and catch block and async and await function so only if you've written a sync you've written await because it'll wait for the main function to first execute and only then it will go for the process exit so I'm not explaining this because this is like very basic JavaScript, but I've still explained it. I mean, that's why I was not explaining it, but I still explained it in case you're like, you know, there's somebody who doesn't know JavaScript, which by the way, I think like you should, you should know JavaScript. It's like, um, it's like ABCD now, you know, if you're a web developer, everybody has to know JavaScript. All right. So I have uh, everything sorted out now. Uh, and by the way, by the way, uh, this is how you'll be writing your test code like mostly for your Solana programs okay that's why it was important for me to show you and here we'll run anchor test now it can fail and that's completely all right that's what I'm expecting it can fail um, not a problem we are prepared mentally it's again slowing down so sometimes it's really, really fast. Sometimes it's really slow, uh, depending on how many other projects I'm running at the, at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll just pause this video and I'll come back uh, and not wait, it's reached 100. So should I even pause the video? I'm not sure. And then I'll have to edit it. I'll have to like cut and then edit more of that stuff, which I'm trying to totally avoid. It's reached 1.2, so I'm, I won't be. I won't be like, stopping it. Twenty seven. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So there is an error. It says cannot read properties of undefined reading again. Okay, so no problem. We let's let's fix that. So if you actually look at it. You see that it's saying uh, can read properties of undefined reading ENV, okay? And it also tells you where. So uh, it's in my test file line six. So I will go there, test file line six. So I can see that I have put two E's here. Should have been just one, right? And so I, I won't be editing this error out because I want you guys to also know that you get these kind of errors. Now there's one more error. Okay, there's one more error. Um, okay. Error loading workspace IDL for test program YT. Okay, let's let's look at why that's this is the issue. So now I fixed an error and I'm getting another error, right? So this is the time when developers start panicking. But do you see any lines or any signs of panic on my head? No, because because I know what I'm doing, right? And uh, and there, there are a couple of issues and I know why the issues are there. So firstly, what we'll do is go to your anchor.toml file, right? And uh, make a small change. So say node. So this is the script that should run when you say anchor test. So it should be node test slash test program writing dot js firstly okay then the next change you make is since the name of the 
file is test program yt.js and this is what I want to show you okay uh, the name out here should be the same as well yt and the name out here should be the same as well okay. now hopefully when you run the program things should work just fine okay so I got this I got your transaction signature which is what we wanted right we wanted to print out the transaction signature if you look at here transaction signature so just one more time we'll run it again so what's happening and the test right so starting test these are two things that we are printing out and transaction signature starting test and transaction signature now this code is there on uh, github like i said so you will make mistakes and i know you will because i did right so you'll you'll get things wrong you'll get like really weird errors because anywhere where javascript is involved you will get errors right and that's also something that i want to show you because uh, even though we are using rust which is like the premium grade a grade of languages but we have to use projects like anchor which uh, leverage javascript to then you know package rust and, and build all of that for you and so you won't find errors with rust uh, but you will find errors with javascript whenever you build such projects as in you might find errors with rust if you're not good with rust but but mostly even if you're good with javascript you'll find issues with javascript right and you won't be able to decipher them the main problem is that okay you know you make mistakes you make all these stupid mistakes but um you won't be able to decipher the errors that come in the in the con console that's not the case with rust or golang all right i hope you learned something in this video i mean i hope you learned a lot actually in this video building your own project, writing your own code, writing your own test, compiling it, seeing how the issues happen, fixing them. And these small things are something that you really want to excel at, right? Uh, having like a knack of finding these issues and solving and fixing them and not panicking. Once you're able to do that, you, you, you can build like really, really big projects, really uh, awesome code, uh, like really awesome stuff you can build, you can write really good software. Okay, so I hope that was great and I will see you in the next video where we'll build something awesome with Rust or with Solana maybe. Let's see. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't.